What is up, Rockers of the Rock Nation? It's your fellow Rocker X, Rockerman X, and I am back with the video for y'all. As for what this video is, I know the core right now, and I apologize for that, but whatever. It's fucking early in the morning, so I don't care as I'm recording this video. But as for what video that I am doing for y'all, I have my reaction setup going, but I am not necessarily doing a reaction video to it. I just have it set up to kind of save me a bit of editing that I might have to do for this video. But as for what this video is, and I apologize for the glare too on the thing. I have my thing setting in like a weird spot, so I do apologize for the glare. But, yeah. But, um, yeah, as for what video that I'm doing for you all, since I really haven't been posting video videos in a while or just me talking to you guys about anything, I kind of wanted to make this video, um, basically, because you all know me, if anyone watched the channel, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it a few times on this channel that I am an anime fan. No, I'm not a weeb. If I was a weeb, I would have disowned my culture. I do, though, appreciate the Japanese culture for what it is and stuff like that, because stuff like that, it fascinates me. Like, different cultures, stuff fascinates me. If I can look into it, I look into it. It's like, when it comes to, like, Egyptian-themed stuff, like, as you guys see me playing Assassin's Creed Origins, which I said, too, that, like, you know, like, the Egyptian theme interests me. Stuff like that, um, you know, because of Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff like that back in the day, it really got me into that stuff, or mythology, I guess you would technically call it. But, um, yeah, as for the actual video that I'm doing, though, like I said, as you all know that I am an anime fan, I enjoy watching anime every now and then, and I apologize for any skippage, too, because, again, my computer's being weird. But, um, yeah. I wanted to do this video, more or less, about not the kind of anime I watch. More or less, I picked out three anime that I've watched over the years, or am, or that either I have watched out the years or currently watching that I like. And some of these, like the older fans, like me, who's in her 20s or so, might not have actually heard of them. Or even some of the younger fans. I don't say younger fans, but some of the young some younger people looking to get into anime that might stumble across this video. I picked out three of them. And we'll say it's now the first one is an older-ish one. That, besides Yu-Gi-Oh! or any of that, like, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! really got me into anime around the middle school era. You know, um, the second one is, like, a relatively newer one. That is actually, as of this April, getting a fourth season. Finally, after, like, three years, I think. Which, that was a whole mess I've read about. Like, you know, they, had, they switch animation companies and they got a new animation style, stuff like that. And the third one is actually a... I don't want to say brand new one. But it was made for winter 2018. And, like I said, these three, not many people might have heard of. Definitely the younger people probably never, haven't heard of. The older people probably haven't heard of. And they are three different styles as well. Like, three different genres as well that I like watching. Because, as you all know, I like watching all of your thing. I like watching a lot of anime and I watch different things here. And they're like, I can name a list of a few that I've seen. Like, Ultimate Otaku, Te Ultimate Otaku Teacher. Ruby, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. SAO, um, Heaven's Lost Property, Vampire Knight, One Piece I've seen years ago, like when that was on Toonami and stuff like that. Like, there's been plenty that I've seen throughout the years. Um, Food Wars, that's another one of my current favorites, also getting a fourth, or fourth season. I think it's just a continuation of the third season in April, so woohoo. But, um, yeah. Um, let's move on, shall we? And as for, and... As I talk about these three, I'm going to play the openings in the background, which is why my reaction stuff set up. But I'm not really going to look at it. I have literally almost all the openings to every single to every single part of the series, so set up so I can just play them through, and that's why my reaction stuff set up. But at number one, and mainly, well, hold on, and mainly two, the intro is just to decide whether you want to watch it or not. Besides me just talking about it, because I might not be able to go in depth about them because some of these it's been. A while, I'm not two. A while, two years since I've seen, especially this first one. But coming in at number one, which is actually in the order that I remember we're seeing them too. I've heard about these animes. Number one, one of my personal favorites, and as I said, had got me into anime back in like middle school. Which 
was when I really started getting into it. Like, you know, I watched the Yu-Gi-Oh's. I said the Yu-Gi-Oh's, like the Pokemon. I watched Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid, the original Duel Monsters, and I still watch Yu-Gi-Oh to this day. But I feel like after hearing about this anime, this is the one that really got me into it. Um, it was on Toonami. And, or, if you're like me, you stay up till 4 or 5 in the morning and watch those god-awful fucking reruns on Adult Swim. But, um, yeah, as for the first one, it is Inu Yasha, as you can probably tell by the opening. Um, or the opening, I should say. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. But, um, yeah, um, this anime, like I said, one of my personal favorites when I was a kid. That really got me into it, you know... I love the characters, you know, Kagome, Inuyasha, Little Fox Demon, Shippo, um, Sango. I'm trying to remember all the names, like I said. It's been, I apologize, it's been years, and they're probably on the screen, as you say. Um, the boomerang girl that I'm looking at right now, which I forget her name, who probably has one of the most badass weapons, because she can just throw the boomerang and be like, nope, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> You're dead, with just with a boomerang throw. And... But yeah, as you can tell from the intro, stuff like that showing, mainly the first episode, stuff like that. Like the first episode, basically, you know, Kikyo, who was the priest guarding the Jewel Shard. Um, you know, Inuyasha was after the Jewel Shard to try to become a full demon, because he's only half demon. You know, stuff like that. And she knocked an arrow, used her spell, basically put him to a tree for 50 years. She died immediately after that, you know, the Jewel Shard was supposed to be burned with her who that duty was given to her daughter, to, or not her daughter, her younger sister. I forget her name, but she's an old woman now, but whatever. And then, my point is, though, you know, when that happened, Kagome what became years in the future, back in modern-day Japan, was, you know, the reincarnation of Kikyo, and who actually had the jewel shard, jewel shard inside her when she was attacked by Miss Centipede, which caused her to go back in time to the feudal era of Japan, where this was 50 years after the fact that you know, should try to steal a jewel shard and stuff for himself. Which, again, I don't know, this anime, and that's a rough explanation of what happened in the first episode, basically, when it came to the introduction of, like, the two main characters, Kagomi and Inuyasha, which, honestly, too, was, like, some of the first two people I shipped in anime together, because, I mean, to be fair, we all knew it was going to happen, regardless, when you watch that, it's like, yeah, this gonna happen, because this is definitely canon. Um, you know, Naraku, the evil villain of the series, also a real good villain at the time, but, um, I don't know, like, the thing that really drew me to this anime as a, as that was, like, the culture, obviously, because you're back in field Japan, it shows a lot of the Japanese culture, whether it's in modern, J whether it puts Kagome back in modern day Japan, or put her in feudal Japan, did show a lot of the, um, um, shit. I can't even know what it's called. It did show a lot of the, um... <laughs> Japanese side of things. Like, did show a lot of the culture and stuff like that. And, as well, this anime just had a really good music, too. Like, the opening intro to the first season... I say first season, but technically it was... Changed the World. That was a good song. And my favorite song of all... Well, I would not say of all time. But one of my favorite songs that come from Every Heart was also really good, too. Um... Um, yeah. And I'm usually that song all the fucking time. Um... You know, and one of my things, too, when I, like, you know, in Yasha with the Iron Reaper Soul Stealer thing, when it came to, like, the, his special attack was also a real good attack, too, and, you know, and, and just as to, I will say this, that, and again, I'm sorry for rambling, I've not seen these, these shows in years, or this show in years, but, also when it came down to, um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the intro as I'm trying to talk, but, and I was also interested to see kind of Kagome develop as a character throughout the years, or throughout the seasons, and which had six seasons actually, and one thing, and one a final season called the final act. Um, but it was nice seeing kind of Kagome grow as that character and grow as the um, protector she was supposed to be because we all know she fucked up. She caused the jewel shard to shatter. You know, her and Inuyasha had to go on the whole journey to kind of get them back together. I'm not trying to spoil the series, because, again, I'm just giving a rough explanation of what, what, it, what it's about, you know. But, again, it was interesting to just kind of see her develop into that protector she's supposed to be, develop into Kikyo, basically, you know. Not not exactly become Kikyo, but 
trying to become what Kikyo was, the protector of the jewel shard to stop evil from getting it, and her and Inuyasha together worked as a pair as well as everyone else worked as a pair, and I don't know, this anime is just one of my favorites throughout the years. Again, it's up to you whether or not you want to watch or not, but it's just, this anime, I like it, and I haven't watched it in years. I did go back before I recorded this and watched the first two and a half episodes. I might say three episodes, so there's that, but um... Yeah, that's really nothing else to say about this anime. It's more like, if you want to check it out, check it out for yourself, you know, and it is a shonen, action adventure shonen, I think it is called a shonen, so, again, and most people consider, like, you know, Naruto, One Piece, stuff like that to be, like, the anime, Dragon Ball Z, to get them, like, it, the animes, the animes, like, those top three anime, minus Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess, but, like, One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, People do say that those are the anime that got them into anime, but this is one I feel like people just forget about Inuyasha because, again, it was on Toonami, it was on Adult Swim, on reruns at times early in the morning, and I just miss this anime. I do want to go back and watch it someday, and I probably will after recording this sometime, like, you know, once I watch some a couple other things or finish watching or when I don't have stuff to watch because, again, two of my shows are coming back in April. <laughs> But, again, it's up to you guys if you want to watch this anime or not. So, like I said, I tried to explain what I could while it's about. Again, the music, stuff like that was really good, so there's that. And pause, because we're going to move on to the next thing. As you can see, what it probably is by the title <laughs> showing up. But, number two, we have one of my personal favorites... And I will say is now all three of these I'm talking about, I wouldn't say are my top three, but they're definitely in like my top ten that I like watching. Um, again, this one is finally getting a fourth season. So if you got in April, so by the time this goes up, if you guys have been to watch the first three seasons, which are all on Hulu, and probably Country Roll for that matter. But um, yeah, one of my personal favorite animes, again from the newer era I guess, from the newer age of anime, which a lot of people get pissed off about, this is an it's kind of like an etchy, harem-based style anime as well, so... I understand that might turn some people off, but... I don't know. I, I, I saw this, and I'm like, a DXE. Ha! Brawl pun. And, you know, I saw a little bit about it. You know, I did my research while it's about... Well, no, that's a lie. I, I remember watching Heaven Lost Property, and then I turned around and watched this one, because... I was looking, I was into that edgy stuff at that time. I was looking for different things to watch. But, um, again, one of my personal favorite animes of the newer era, I feel like. Again, probably my top ten, along with the other two. High School DxD coming in at number two. For, like, a newer thing to talk about. As you can tell by intro, you can already tell, boobs galore. <coughs> YouTube's gonna strike me down. But, yeah, this anime was one of those, when I wa first watched it, like, again, I watched Heaven's Lost Property, I watched a couple others before that. And then I found this one. Like a jewel shard, a, a jewel shard, fuck, I'm still in Inuyasha. Like a gem hidden away, and, and you can tell about the intros, it is action-based too, which is I really like, because it's like the etchy harem base, but it has plenty of fucking action in it, let me tell you what. And there's people that I've seen that bash this anime, well, no, not really, there's one person I've seen bash this anime really fucking hard. But here's the thing, animes like this I like, because it can be over-the-top, silly, Stuff like that. But it also has that serious storyline to it as well. And that's something I really enjoyed. The music as well is really good. All these I will give props to the music that are in the show. Um, I wish you guys could hear some of it. But again, I don't want to get copyrighted. The visuals might just get me copyrighted enough. <laughs> but you know, the main characters, what happened? You have the two lead characters. I should say the male and female. And obviously you have the harem base. which caused the whole female cast to go. But you got Issei Hi Hyodo. And Rhea, Scrim Rhea Scrimmery. I cannot speak right now. But basically, Issei was like... When when the anime first starts out, and again, basic explanation, try to not give spoilers, was that average high school kid who had nothing going for him at all. He was just average. You know, nobody cared about him. He had two other friends who were perverts just like him. And his dream is to be Harem King, son. Harem King. Harem King 
someday, which I give props to that dude. If you come Heron King, you got, you got, I'm not worthy, <laughs> but for real, um, and turns out he's not so normal after all, because you learned the first episode that, you know, a fallen angel pretends to be a, a human, a human girl. Ask him now to be his girlfriend. They go on a date eventually. She fucking murders him in cold blood because they're scared of him because they think he has something special. Think he has some special weapon, which we turn out is a sacred gear later on, which which basically has a dragon inside of him. And Rias comes to the rescue before he dies completely. And she reincarnates him into a devil, just like she is. And they go on adventures together and do stupid shit together. And all of them are stupid. Eventually he gets his harem like he wants, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm spoiling a bit of the series. But you guys kind of have to watch yourselves to get what I'm getting at. But, like I said, this is a good anime to me. If you want just something light-hearted to watch at times. And also, if you want something serious at times as well. Because, again, the story's like just there and the music's there. And again, two, the two main characters, people said, I've heard people say that they do not have the strongest relationship, but in reality to me, that they do have the strongest relationship compared to, like, Issei and the other girls, like, Akino, uh, fucking, I can't remember all the names now, that's bad, but Akino was one of them, and also, seeing Akino and Rias battle back and forth for Issei and stuff like that, and all that stuff like that, and... One thing, too, also like about the anime, it, you know how, you know, devils, fallen angels, you know, ang devils, fallen angels, angels, gods, Satan, stuff like that. It gives, and again, all these are based off manga anyway, but it also gives an alternative take on the whole Christian, I guess, Christian religion. Excuse me for saying that wrong, but basically it does, you know, God, Satan, stuff like that. Anyone has God, Satan, you know, heaven, hell, you know, and... You know, it gives a different take on it, and it's really interesting to think about, too. Again, if you feel like me, you like think about different things. And it is interesting to me to think, like, oh, shit, this, this, we wouldn't, we, we wouldn't even know. I mean, this could actually be happening right underneath our noses, and we wouldn't even know that this shit could be happening right underneath our noses, you know? I guess something to think about. But, um, yeah, there's nothing much to say about the series. Again, if you like etchy, harem-based anime that's light-hearted but also serious, this one's one of them preview. And I feel like if you're looking for a place to get into anime at some point or you're just looking for something different to watch, this is definitely one of them for you. Um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say about that. This one. Um, again, excuse me if I'm like going way too fast or if I'm not explaining enough. I was basically giving a basic explanation of what the show is. Um, and now, the last one that I'm going to talk about probably, as I said, this came out for winter 2018. I feel like it's worth a watch. It's only on episode 8. I don't, I've only seen episode, I've only seen up to episode 7 because I'm not a Crunchyroll premium member, so I'm a week behind. But, um, yeah. As for what this one is, this one is probably one of my I don't want to say it's one of my... Well, again, it's in, like, my top ten. But, um... This one I really, really enjoy. I've... It's brand new. Like I said, Winter 2018 anime. I've been really enjoying watching it. And for those you may or may not be turned off by this, it's Yuri, a.k.a. In other words, a lesbian. <laughs> um... And I know a lot of people that have probably said that they're watching it, they're watching it just for Yuri. And there's a lot of people that I've seen, like, in comments and stuff about this anime, calling it trash, stuff like that. But to me, it's not really trash, because the story does go somewhere, and if you look at the manga, you would understand, because they do skip around a lot of the chapters and stuff like that for the first few episodes. And I will warn you, too, the first few episodes do come off a bit rapey, but I don't really consider it being rapey at all. As this is a fair warning to you guys, the first few episodes do come out like that. But it's not really when you think about it at all. I consider it, you know, like people playing with someone's feelings or shit like that happening. Or, you know, what any high school teenage girl would do. 
basically. And High School DXT is also based on High School, if you can't tell by the name. But um, this was like what any high school girl. And basically, this anime, which, again, I apologize if I fuck something up about this anime because it's brand new. Literally, I've seen advertisements for weeks about this. And I decided to give it a try, and this, and you know, I gave it a try, and I like it. And I understand there's been a monk out for a while now about it, and I again, I apologize that I say something wrong about it. But it's called Citrus, and I'm going to play the opening now, which is probably one of my favorite anime openings on this list, just because, just the camera angle and stuff. And one thing that draws me to like Inuyasha much, how it's older. This anime kind of has that drawn style, which I really like. Kind of has like the older. I mean, obviously it's still modern, but it kind of has like that older, draw, drawn style type of anime. But, um, yeah. Basically what it is, it's a Yuri, as I already said, about two stepsisters who just become stepsisters and shit like that. And Yuzu, aka the blonde chick, who mother remarries, you know, they move towns, she transfers into an all-girls school... And she's like that classic, I don't want to say preppy, but that classy, preppy, blonde chick you would think, and peppy, stuff like that. While the other main character, May, who, and I will say, and you will find this out in the series, you watch it, and you'll find more death, doesn't have the best relationship with her family, um, you know, stuff like that. Ba the basic stuff like that doesn't have much in common with her family, you know, um, she goes to the same all-girls school that Yuzu gets transferred to, she's basically the, um, trans, or not transfer, she's basically the, um, student council, well, as you can tell by the armband, student council president, you know, she's strict to the rules, stuff like that, you know, she's cold in nature, like, she doesn't give a fuck about people, you know, stuff like that. When in reality, she really does give a fuck. She just doesn't show it too, too much or too well at all. But, um, yeah. And I will say, yeah, and there's really not much I can really else I can really say about this anime. Because, again, I never read the manga. It's literally came off for winter 2018, but it's it's a good anime if you ask me. And again, for if you want something different to watch, it's really good, and it does tell a cohesive story as well. And it does introduce different characters throughout the year or throughout throughout as well, like Matsuri, which we saw in the intro to Pink Hair Girl. I have no idea who the two white hair girls are, which this intro has been shown before on a show to the two white hair girls at some point. You know, um, May's dad, obviously, you know, he travels and helps other kids and teaches other kids. You know. And, again, they're two stepsisters. I mean, I'm really not... I mean, most people are going to complain, too, about the fact that it's two stepsisters, but... It's just... Uh, I'm under... under Whenever I go into anime like that that deals with, like, brother-sister stuff... Like, SAO had the whole LAO arc with Sugu and Kirito, or as his real name is in real life, Kazuto. Well, hold it. Let me explain. The Leafa X Kirito, or Sugu X Kazuto... If you really want to go in with that whole brother and sister arc, again, that had that, and I'm pretty sure there's been plenty of other anime that dealt with brother sister romance and or stuff like that. And anytime I go into stuff like that, I'm always under the assumption that it is Japan. They are more open about that stuff, and there's more, and there's less strict laws and stuff like that because legally, if you're step, if you are a step. Sibling, you can legally marry them in Japan. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm going best off what the SAO did. Because when the dude did technically adopt. Or was going to adopt evil dude into Austin's family. And Austin was going to marry him basically. So. Yeah. Um, that's done with that intro. I'm just going to let that play. Do that. Hit that off. Blah, 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 blah. But you guys see that now. But whatever. Um. Because the intro did over and did play, but whatever. Um, again, I, that's going to turn the the whole step stuff, this whole step sibling stuff is going to turn a lot of people off. But again, like I said, Japan is more open about that stuff, and it doesn't bother me, and it shouldn't bother you. It's just that romance thing, and you know, 
these these two people have nothing in common and it's interesting to see how and as the series goes on to me personally it will be interesting to see how they come together how they work through their high school troubles how they work through the relationship troubles you know their mom and dad ever finding out even though the dad's never really at home too often the mom's always there but she works too you know and obviously again it's it just going to be one of those things that's going to be interesting to see and i feel like citrus is a good anime to check out if you don't want to read the manga or even if you read the manga i feel like it's a good anime to check out or if you want to read the manga i do suggest reading the manga i'm pretty sure you can find it online or something like that somewhere um, I might look into that. I might read it myself, actually, because, again, a lot of people are going to watch it just for Yuri, but I feel like for a story and stuff like that, it's worth checking out as well. And the music, when it plays, stuff like that, whenever there is music, again, all these has really good music, stuff like that, whenever the music plays. And the intro, you guys will have to look at them themselves and actually listen to the intro music for, like, Citrus and, like, High School DxD and, like, Inuyasha. And, well, I, obviously, all three of them I showed, but... They really do have, all have really good music. So, that's really all I gotta say. I just gonna make this video and, and talk about those three animes and basically give my brief description of what they're about and my thoughts on them or what thoughts I can give on them because again, half of these I have not, like Inuyasha, I haven't seen in years. High School DxD I rewatched not too long ago, but I barely remember it. Um, and Citrus is brand new, so I really can't give much about it, but. Yeah. That's really all I gotta say. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check out this anime. And if you guys have either watched those three anime. Or have anything you want to talk about. Or want to leave suggestions for new animes down in the comments below. Leave them down in the comments below if you guys feel like it. And if you guys watch these, those three, give me your thoughts on it. Because I am inter interested to hear. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys, live free and rock.